Um, okay, well, this is a very special, nothing special. Oh, dang, you can't no, no, put okay, those together. Okay, here we go. No, you don't have to. I'm looking at you, not the yeah, camera. Go ahead. This is uh, a nothing special. A not special, nothing special. A not special, nothing special. A very special, non-special uh, awards for everybody. Everybody special. Not nothing special. Participation special. It's, this is a particip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, old blood noise. Nothing special on the MTET. MIDI to expression, expression translator. translator. Yeah. You saw me going wrong, I did, huh? I didn't, I, didn't. Well, I didn't want Dan to have to correct uh, this early. I wanna get I wanna get a couple minutes in before he says uh, that's not actually correct. MIDI to expression. Yeah, the that T is almost like should be lowercase. Yeah, I agree. We should scratch that. Yeah. Um the MIDI device, the thing that takes uh, MIDI and turns it into CC expression things with our pedals that'll work together. So highly, highly technical episode here. Uh, we've got Tyler Huskerson, who uh, probably does the most MIDI related things. Yeah, I actually, I looked up to see when I bought my controller because I feel like Pretty early on, I was like, Brady, this is... This is cool. This yeah, is you, a game changer. And my eyes would just kind of glass over. 100%. Yeah. Uh, and over the years, I've continued to, you know, get deeper and deeper into it. And uh, I'm just so happy that today I can say that you're on board with it. Not only just on board with it, but you're actually excited about it. I am. And it took a long, long time like up until the point that we had the finished unit. Um, he, and, he called me into his office and he's like, I wanna show you something. And uh, he had programmed a couple, you know. Just presets, pretty, yeah. Pretty simple preset things on Procession. And he was like, this is amazing. I was like, yeah. Welcome. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and before that, it was just, I had got this, um, this, uh, Gig rig G3 controller. <laughs> um, sponsor us. The yeah, I got this controller, which I just I, my my personal pedal story is um, not something anybody should care about. So where it is now is I got this controller and I'm using it, and I only use it to recall sounds and settings that I like from stuff that you know you can do that and the different loops and yeah yeah for now I don't really know how I would get more elaborate with it I know that there are other people that do things that involve LFOs and uh, generative music making based yeah. on MIDI concepts and personally I'm not interested in that but that is kind of where this started. It is exactly whole, where this started. Yeah. So, uh, the why, the why of the why of it all. Imtet is that and our buddy Andy Othling needed uh, this device. He needed something to mess with the expression elements of our pedals um, via MIDI. And so he pitched that idea to Dan. Hey, Dan. Mm. Dan in the wings. Yeah, Dan's in town to make sure that I don't say anything foolish. And he's already messed up. So, yeah, it really, the why, it was for Andy. And then it turns out that there's a pretty broad use for something like this and not a lot of options out there already made. So. Um, you know, I, I don't know, I've kind of just been getting into, um, how useful it is for really the main pedals that I use out of our lineup, which is the Procession and Black Fountain. 
and that's pretty fun because it you're able to do a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. Mm -hmm. What do you do with it? The, the how, the why. Um, so with this, uh, the procession, we can start on that one. I have it set to control the uh, reverb amount. And so by maxing it out, maxing out that control, you have the hold function, the sustain. Um, so this is just the reverb back down by maybe like to 95% or something. And then on this switch, it is maxed out to 100, so it's just holding. Which is pretty, that's, that's how I use this type of procession, dark star, and different holding reverbs I really like to just be able to go in and out with, which is, it's just another way to do what's, what's there, but it feels less clunky, it feels smoother. It, let, it lets you latch it too, like yes. that's a momentary yeah. foot switch, so you yeah. can hold something and not have to actually hold the foot switch physically. Um, yeah, which is one of my favorite things to do with our pedals, even though it's old news, old hat now. But it's cool too, because like you could, you've got a full range of things you can do with that. There's places where you can set the knob, basically, using mm -hmm. MTAT. Um, so that one is particularly cool to me, just because it's like, it's kind of like you can use the foot switch, or you can use any range of the mm -hmm. knob. Um. Yeah, so like if we, so that one is 95, so let's say we go to this one, and the process in action here, which is super exciting. Uh, I'm going, for some reason I keep going to five on that one, but that's not quite right. Five. And then is it on one? Two, it is on one, you're right. And then so maxed out would be 127. So I've got it back. Is a half. Yeah, so but let's just go really low because I don't have almost all the way down. So at three. And versus So that, yeah, that short decay there. Versus. Good. Let's keep it. And then the max. down or do anything yeah just changes the way that you can play with it which is really fun that's the whole point it's just another it's another utility device and it's it's our first uh tiptoe into midi 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 involvement um like with so many of our utility devices it's like like you said like the sounds are there already it's just a new way of interacting with the sounds yeah. we keep finding new ways to snap to them or move through them. You're dead on with that, Dan, because I feel like with Ramper, when we put out Ramper, it kind of did the same thing, where it just opened so many new sounds and tricks from existing pedals, which to me is really cool. Yeah. And then... So... That's how I'm doing procession stuff on the Black Fountain. You've got the way that, hey Bruce. You've got um, 
You can set the toe and the heel, yeah. which is your expression. So you can either. So you're controlling you can, more than one knob at a time, yeah. basically. Yeah. You better not. <laughs> uh -oh. Whimper is too much. Yeah, that's not an option right now. You need to hold it. Um, so I set it with, uh, one was like low time, low feedback, and another is, the heel is uh, long time, lots of feedback. So on these three, we've got the sort of slap back. Sounds good. Uh, let's see, somewhere in between. feedback, I guess. So that's kind of fun being able to switch between those. It gives you all those, those additional options. So that's the why. That's the why would we do MTET. Um, I kind of hated MIDI for a long time. It's fine now. I'm starting to understand it more. I'll say it. I didn't understand it. It's okay. I didn't want to know it. You can fear what you don't understand. And then I didn't have the attention you can span. It's okay to change your mind about things. I didn't have the attention span. I didn't. I don't like reading manuals. I don't like uh, committing to having to memorize new information. That's the beauty of it. That was once once you've programmed it, you never have to think about it again. That's true, until you, you want to like make changes like we right. did today. And, we did. Which is fine. But you can, just, you can snap to so many different things so quickly. Yes. Um, that it really is it's a game changer, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And it, it varies on what controller you're using. You've got a Morningstar. Um, Dan, what do you use? You're just doing all... Uh, yeah, I just use Ableton. Yeah. So it's all DAW stuff. And you can attach envelopes and LFOs and things like that because it's... There's so much other processing available. Yeah. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of options. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's a fair range of people that would be interested and then others that wouldn't. Uh you know, people who already know what you can do with MIDI stuff, and and that'll they'll understand that. And then there's a lot of people that this may be just a good introductory yeah. foray into it because it's you're just using control changes. Yeah, you, you start with turning one knob basically. Yeah. With MIDI, and then before you know it, you're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like ultimately a very limited set of MIDI commands. Like you don't have to fully yeah. dive into the world. It's yeah. just four different controls, four, four CCs. Yeah. Or I guess technically eight CCs, but we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that's, that's not my story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like, yeah, it, it works with, it, it's designed to function with old blood stuff, but it also works with most anything that has kind of the expression input on it. That's our setup, yeah. Yeah, so like that Boss RV6. It works with that, however, the expression is attached to a control that, in my mind, doesn't do a lot. So you're not able to really like yeah. maximize how you use that, but, but other stuff would be full on, so. Tyler, as someone who's super into MIDI, I'm curious, like, what MTET opens up for you as somebody that was already on board. Uh, the big one for me so far has been Dark Star, just being able to control pitch. Or, oh, um, dang. Yeah. So pitch is awesome because basically I can I have presets now for Unity down and up. Um, I can do fifths. I can send an LFO uh, to get a little wobble in the pitch, which is cool. Um, so that's the one for me that I was most excited about. Um, 
just because it doesn't it means I don't have to bend over and manually turn knobs anymore so it's just a bad idea Bruce just a bad bad idea Yeah. Any other any other questions? The whys? I mean, we. No. Cool. Well, you guys, let me know what you wanna. button you can do all that stuff at some point you can just stop playing guitar completely mm, oh I see the draw yeah it's nice what if <laughs> 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 what if you could change the LFO like <laughs> dude if you pee on that <laughs> I would be so deserving if you pee on that this is going to be our be biggest, biggest video we've video. ever made <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you, you dummies. She does do cat moves. That's true. Um, I don't know, Dan. What do you think? I'm excited. Nothing special. I think it's fun. <laughs> It's really cool. I like I like all of our levels of involvement with it. It's yeah. like Tyler is like MIDI like consumer already. I was not on board with MIDI and had to figure it out to develop the product and then was like, oh now I get why you use it. But I still haven't like really I haven't fully integrated it. It's more just like messing around. And then you've like it's on your pedal board now <laughs> it's part it's part of your workflow yeah and you were so fully on the other side like weeks ago <laughs> yeah like I, I don't think i can state or i can overstate how like anti uninterested i was <laughs> <laughs> last shot make some sounds <laughs> Go, uh, here, hold on. There you go.